Tastula gets a length and a half clear. That's how standings peaked on the run now, and Tastula powers away. I've got a gr good network around. A lot of the boys in the jockey room there, they're always helpful. Uh, I've got good support from uh, my manager and, and my family too. And obviously you've got some close friends in there, Tyler Schiller, Zach Lloyd and Dylan Gibbons. You've all come through together and you all encourage each other. Yeah, look, uh, a little bit of healthy, healthy competition, you know, it keeps us on our toes and we try and push each other and out there there's no, no love lost between them but we've got this good uh, Good rivalry, uh, and it, it keeps inter in things interesting, and it's uh, good to good to bounce off each other. <laughs> All three of the boys have got great personalities. Uh, Tyler, he's he's one of the most laid-back customers I've, I've ever come across. Um, he's just so chill, so relaxed, and so easygoing. Zach, he's uh, he's funny, he's he's very confident, and uh, look, Dylan, Dylan's the same. That they do confidence, and uh, I think their results speak for themselves. How would you describe your own personality? Quiet, quiet, reserved. Um, but yeah, once, once I get a bit of confidence about me, I, I start to chirp up a bit too. It's obviously a tough jockey's room though. It's very competitive. Is there a lot of banter in there? Yeah, no, there's, there's good banter among them. Um, I reckon Zach and Regan, they're probably the funniest and they, they, they give as good as they take. So yeah, no, it's good fun in there. Who's the funniest person in there? I have to give it to Regan. Uh, God, he, he's just, yeah, he, things he comes up with, he's, he's, a, he's a character. So that's Regan Bayless, who's the most serious? Ooh, maybe Nash. Nash, I don't want to get on the bad side of Nash. Yeah, he turned up the stables one day and uh, he was definitely, didn't know much. <laughs> um, he was flat out putting a head collar on and, and sort of never really ridden a horse at all. Um, so yeah, he spent the first 12 months around the stables, working hard, um, always had a great work ethic, um, never asked for more money, just went and got another job washing up, washing up plates at the RSL at night time, when you, when you get an apprentice that wants to do that, um, you know they're going to be successful. Zardozzi on the inside of Land Legend, Land Legend, Zardozzi, nothing in this, stride for stride, they hit the line, it's a bum of the heads, dead set a swing of the heads there, Land Legend may have dropped it on Zardozzi. Oh, absolutely brilliant, brilliant. Uh, it was like training, training group one winner. Um, he, um, you know, rode at home hard in the pub and um, sweated out the protest. It was a great battle between, between Zach and I. When, when we went over the line, we, we both weren't really sure who won, who got the bob in, um, but we just both looked at each other like, wow, uh, how good was that, what a race. And um, it, was, it, it was good to, you know, really drive and get that, that bob in the line. It really stretched out and, Made sure he got the heads in, so it was it was great. It made a great little photo, so yeah, no, I'm really I'm really pleased. Zach, I know you, you lost the Metropolitan, but you mentioned your friends, of course. Dylan Gibbons has won Group Ones. Tyler Schiller has won Group Ones. Of course, you've won Group Ones. But Reese Jones was part of that that um, the Four Musketeers, so to speak, hadn't won his major. So when his number came up, were you was it a little part of you happy for him as well? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Reese in the Metrop, it was um, it's probably my favourite race of all time, even though I got beat. Um, fighting out a finish, and I knew it was him from the, the 500, and obviously I was on a great mare's eye dozy, and he was on Land Legends. So, um, no, it was a great race, and even though I got beat a nose in a group one, huh, I was very happy for Reese. When we went over the line, I, I sort of looked to him. We both didn't know who won, and I said to him, I said, far out, what a race, and um, I said, I reckon I'll get you in the steward's room. So I sort of put it in his mind as I went past the post, and um, we cantered back together. Obviously, his number was in, in, in first, but um, yeah, when we were battling down the steward's room, I felt a bit, a bit sorry for him, but uh, uh, all's well ends well for him. Couldn't let Zach have all the fun. He, he ran a group one prior on the day, and um, I, I didn't want to take that away from me. So like I said, there, there's no love lost between us and out there. We're just good mates from behind the scenes. Sam Harris from the Sarah Ryan stable. You're the stable foreman there, and you're also in a relationship with Rhys Jones. It must be fabulous to watch him win a Group 1 today. No, it's really good. He's worked really hard towards this. Uh, it's, it's glad to see you can get it done. 
Yeah, I feel like he's been watching all of his friends uh, get group ones and get good results for a long time. Uh, it's, it's probably really great that he can do it himself now. I have nothing but respect for all of the jockeys, but I know Reese works really hard, so it's, it's great to see him finally get a group one. <laughs> I don't know if I should say it on camera, but we actually met in a nightclub, officially. He would have had to show his ID to get into a nightclub, wouldn't he? <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> Outside of racing, it's probably a bit of a lonely life if you don't have someone that understands it. Um, but I'm, I'm really lucky to have Sam. She's, uh, she's in racing, she's been nothing but supportive and she's, she's just a great, great, great person. So um, look, I'm, I'm very lucky to, to have someone like that in my life. What are your long-term goals? Uh, look, I, I kind of want to establish myself as the, the go-to lightweight jockey. Um, if I'm going to be up there, look, I, I do the lightweights very comfortably. Uh, it's probably advantages of being five foot tall. but. Um, yeah, if I can tick off another couple of group ones, that'd, that'd be fantastic and uh, that's, that'd probably be my long-term goals. And to make a place in Sydney for good, I imagine? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this, is, this is where you want to be. It's the pinnacle of racing and, and probably Australia at the moment. There's a great, great bunch of jockeys around us. It's, it's very competitive and I think it's a, a high level and definitely where I want to cement myself and stay.